What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy S10 on Verizon. If you're on Verizon, you have that phone. They are finally pushing out that update I talked about about a week, week and a half ago, where they're gonna improve the power wireless sharing, which allows you to you know charge other phones on the back of your phone or other uh, anything wirelessly on the back of your phone. There's improvements for that. And also they're improving the camera. So if you have, again, that phone on Verizon, check for the update. It should be rolling out right now on Verizon. I believe it also has already rolled out on Sprint devices as well. So if you have Sprint or Verizon, check for that update. It should be on your way right now. Next up is about the Samsung Galaxy April 2019 update that hasn't officially rolled out but they give some slight details on what they're going to be releasing. And from the said line, you can see the April 2019 security patch fixes 15 new vulnerabilities and exposure items. Some of those issues right there are going to be a change of protected features without authentication via emergency mode. And it tells you the severity and the vulnerability be basically when improper startup procedure in emergency mode allows unauthorized users to accept emergency mode EULA instead of the device owner. Also, there's a smartwatch bug uh, involved with the phone. So that patch adds the notification ID check and rejects it if it comes from the secure folder. Those are just two of the many 15 updates coming in April when that rolls out. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy S10 5G for Europe, Sprint, and T-Mobile. Let's talk about the European version first. So it looks like the European version has received Wi-Fi certification, meaning that it's passed the test for Wi-Fi certification. So if you're gonna get this phone, it's very, very close to coming out in Europe as well. Not really a huge surprise, but it's really good to see. We've already gotten verification for the South Korean version. We've also got it uh, for, for the uh, American versions as well. Speaking of the American versions, we hear a lot about Verizon 5G and the Galaxy S10 5G. Well, also the Wi-Fi certification has passed through for the T-Mobile version and Sprint. So if you're on one of those carriers and you're waiting for this version of the phone, it should come out fairly soon. I would say probably within the next 30 days or so. I don't, can't guarantee that T-Mobile or Sprint are gonna have 5G where you are or at all for that matter for a while, but you'll still be able to purchase this phone. Why would you wanna purchase this phone? I actually put a video out today talking about that, so check it out down below. Thanks for watching, guys. The question of the day is, do you think the Galaxy S10 5G is worth it? Bigger screen, more cameras, Faster charging, bigger battery? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road. Peace!